Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Uh, today, got a special treat for you, uh, for, for the ladies, for the women. Um, I'm doing a video that basically explains to women everything you need to know about men wearing hats, men's hats. Because I know you're curious about all this. Uh, and I wear many hats. And when I say many hats, I don't mean I do a lot of jobs. I mean, I really wear many hats. And most men have a ton of, it's like women's shoes. So I've got all these hats. And, I, you know, and you may say, well, well Chris, um, what makes you qualified to, uh, you know, tell everybody in the world about men's hats? Well, I made a, kind of a, um, uh, let's say a hierarchy of of men that wear hats. And I want to show you where I fall on this hierarchy uh, because I'm very qualified to tell you and you'll, you'll see once I explain this to you. Uh, now at the bottom of the list, uh, as far as people that could, you know, be justified in telling you about hats are men who don't wear hats. Men who do not wear hats at all are totally unqualified. They're like people that, uh, people that, that want to tell you how to raise your kids that don't have kids. Okay, so men that don't wear hats at all are at the, they're the bottom rung. All right. Um, then you have uh, men who wear, um, they're not quite hats, but they're like head dressings. Okay. Like, you know, the, the, you know, the bandana, you know, if you wear a bandana, right, that's, that's not a hat. Okay. So yeah, that's not the hat level. You're, you're down here. Uh, men who wear visors. Uh, obviously, if you're a bald man wearing a visor, um, that's not really a hat. You're not covering your head. I mean, you're, you know, you're shading your eyes, but that's not the same thing. Uh, people that wear sweatbands, you know, stuff like that. That would be the bottom, you know, level. Okay, your next level up would be any man that has no hair. Men that have no hair know all about hats. And if they don't know about them, they've thought about them or they studied about them. 99% uh, of them wear hats because they're bald headed. Okay, they need a hat. Uh, the next level up, okay, would be if you live in a rural area. Well, I grew up in a rural area. Okay, so check. I got that one. Um, the next level would be if you're, if you are from the South. People in South, men in the South love to wear hats. Okay, so that's your next level. Okay, so I, I fit that. Uh, sports fan. Okay, if you're a sports fan, sports fans love to wear hats, you know, that have their team on it. Okay, and they wear more hats than other people. So, check. I got that one. Okay. Um, the next level up would be people that are outdoors type people. You know, they have the hats, you know, for the outdoor occasions or they're just outdoors a lot. And they need to keep their head covered up. You know, so you got that. So, check. I got that. Um, the next group would be people that wear hats for utility reasons. In other words, for work reasons, um, uh, or for, uh, you know, for being outdoors. Uh, and I have done that when I'm outside, I'll show you my work hats, you know, so I have utility hats that are work hats. Um, now that would be the equivalent of like maybe a, a bachelor's degree in hat wearing. Okay. Now, I go up above that, okay? Uh, the next one you have to have are the men that have some type of fashion sense about the hat. In other words, they understand that, that a hat that is khaki with blue jean, you know, is going to match things. Uh, a solid color hat uh, is going to match things. Uh, they understand, um, you know, just general, you know, that, that, you know, red, you know, that black goes with everything, that kind of thing, just casual dress sense. Okay. I've got that. The next level up is what I call a dress sense. Now, this is where you go up to the next level. This would be like a master's degree. Okay. These, these are the men that can wear uh, these hats and get away with it. You know, they can wear this hat. Okay. And they know when it's okay to wear this hat and where you wear this hat and what that hat matches and what season you can wear that hat. And, uh, you know, the, the, the fabrics that you wear in the suits and all, and you guys have not seen me wear suits, but I assure you, 
uh, I have a very good fashion sense, a very good dress sense, and I know what all these hats go with. So a man that can wear that hat, pull it off, it looks good, that's your master's degree. Now, your next step up are the professionals, okay? The people that understand, you know, I wear this hat because of my profession. Um, the closest I would get to this is, is when I had, uh, you know, when I would have to go to graduations, I had a, a, a cap, you know, a professional cap that I wore with my cap and gown uh, to graduation. So I do have one of those. Uh, I also have hats that I wear that are fishing hats and stuff like that, that you have to wear because if you don't wear them, the other fishermen are going to laugh at you. Uh, you have to look like you know what you're doing. So you have the professional sense, people in the military that wear their military hats. Um, then you have uh, the identity kind of hat. Now this is where you're getting up to like PhD level, the identity hats. Uh, this would be like if I'm going to a Braves game, okay, and I have, I understand that I need to wear a dress Braves hat that matches my outfit uh, I'm identifying, I have an outfit that identifies me with that team, or, uh, you know, you have people that have to wear hats like it's part of their religious reasons or things like that, so it's an identity. My hat is my identity. Um, the next level up, now this is where I don't I don't get this high on the chain. That, that's as high as I get. So that's, that's pretty much PhD level, okay? Now, above me, uh, you would have a NASCAR, NASCAR people. Uh, they take hat wearing, you know, to the next level. And then at the very top, the very top of hat wearing would be uh, cowboys. They're wearing a cowboy, it's cowboy, cowboy hat. Now, the first thing about hats that women have to understand is this. Um, ask a man, when is it okay to throw away a hat? And the answer, if they're not down here on the bottom level of this hierarchy, the answer should be never. It's never okay. It's like an American flag. You know, when the flag gets, you know, old and tore up and stuff like that, you don't throw it in the garbage. There's a ceremony, you know, that you go through to get rid of the hat. Now, the only thing that justifies getting rid of a hat is if you lose the hat. Losing a hat's okay. Um, or if, um, you know, uh, it, you tear the hat up to the point where you can't wear it anymore. Those two things are okay. Now, most of your hats are going to disappear uh, if you're married because your wife threw your hat away. So that's okay too. You can't do anything about that. So let's look at some of these hats and why I have them. Of course, now I have my dress hats, you know, and that's for occasions where I have to wear a suit, uh, you know, and it's in the winter or this one. This one is a summer uh, hat. Uh, you have to make sure that that all matches. Now you, if you do that, now you got to have the whole ensemble. You got to understand, you know, you should wear, you can have a vest, you got the belt, you got the all the things that go along with it, you need to be able to do that or you're not going to be able to wear that hat and get away with it. I see a lot of men wearing these hats and just they look goofy. You got to be, you got to know what you're doing with that, with that level of hat. Now, then you have the hats, like here's my work hats and you always have to have a backup to every hat. Okay. So this is a work hat, you know, because it protects my neck and all that kind of stuff. This is another work hat that I wear and you can tell by the way they look, these are work hats. So that's, you know, you got to have that outside because if you're bald headed like me and you ever get the top of your head burnt, you'll never forget that. Getting the top of your head burnt hurts so bad. So you always got these work hats. Um, my fishing hats. I got three or four different fishing hats. This is a fishing hat and it's for a certain kind of occasion. Um, this is a fishing hat that's for another kind of occasion. Uh, and then I have uh, other fishing hats and I have backups to my fishing hats. And not only do I have backups to my fishing hats, I've got backups to my fishing hats in the truck and backups to the backups. I have a backup of every kind of hat in my truck except the dress hat. There's another hat like these in my truck. So uh, you have to be ready for all occasions. Uh, then you got, like I said, your, your kind of um, fashion, you know, your, your khakis. Uh, anything with khaki in it, you know, you can wear, you know, and kind of look kind of dressy, you know, kind of outdoorsy kind of thing. So that's an important hat to, to have. Of course, you got to have these, you know, for the winter and backups to these different kinds of toboggans and different sizes of toboggans. Some of them, I don't want them covering my ears. Sometimes I want them to cover my ears. 
Um, some of them I want to be able to put in my pocket. You know, you got to have different size toboggans. I'll kind of, I got three or four different kind of toboggans depending on what I'm wearing. Am I wearing a coat? Am I just sticking the thing in my, you know, my pants? You know, what am I doing? Uh, then, of course, like I said, I got my ball game hats, my brave hats, um, you know, and then you got, you got lucky hats. Uh, like if I caught fish last time in this hat, I'm wearing this hat again. I'm going to keep wearing it until I quit catching fish. So you got lucky hats or maybe, you know, Georgia always wins if I wear this hat. So I have to wear it every time. Then I have to have a backup Georgia hat in case this hat doesn't work and I have to switch over to another hat and, and develop another lucky hat. So you got your Georgia uh, hats. Uh, then, of course, you know, you got your highest level uh, of this kind of hat. It's a solid color. It matches everything. It's a stadium hat. It's a wear around hat. You know, it kind of covers everything. Uh, but again, you got to have backups to everything. Okay, backups to the backups. Um, like I said, the closest thing I could compare this to are, would be women's shoes. Uh, men, when you go in and you look at your wife's shoe closet and you go, why do you have, you know, look at your hats. So women, that's why men have all these hats. They need, I need these hats. And I don't know how many hats. And then you have some hats that are given to you. And if a hat is given to you, you have to keep that hat like forever and ever. If it's a free hat. So anyway, hopefully that clears that up for you. If you have any questions about men's hats or why men wear hats or uh, how to wear your hat, uh, the correct way to wear your hat. Any questions at all, uh, I can help you with all those things. Um, just, uh, you know, leave a comment. Uh, you guys have a good day. Nichols Retirement Empire, Men's Hats, Women's Guide to Men's Hats.